This is Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another energy update for the sign of Virgo. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Virgo. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys this week. Spirit messages to my Virgos. Messages to my Virgos. Alright, so there is a lot of happiness, abundance, and great fortune coming into you this week. You're going to have a lot of positive thoughts, and because of this, it's going to give you a lot of positivity in your life. It could have to do with someone that is in the military service, or it could be a father figure, or someone that you hold in high regards or honor. But there seems to be some messages back and forth between you and this person. Could be phone calls, emails, text messages. And you're about to take a trip or a journey to go meet this person for some of you. Alright, so let's see what is coming through the tarot for you guys. Spirit messages for my Vogos. Messages for my Virgos. Messages for my Virgos. Alright, so you're at a stalemate, or you have been at a stalemate for some time, not knowing exactly what it is you wanted. You had a mental block for some reason, or you were definitely too minded about something. Probably a bit of codependency on someone or something. Because you felt trapped in a situation. But this is you just mentally blocking yourself, because you could let go of whatever it is is holding you back at any point in time. So you feel like there is something that you, you feel like you can't do something in a situation when it comes to love. So you may be communicating with someone and it is a soulmate connection for some of you. Or there may be love messages being exchanged between you and someone. This person could have been divorced or they could still be married but separated from their wife. Could be a Libra or Taurus you're connecting to. But you are afraid to take this person up on their offer when it comes to love. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer you're dealing with. Because you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to be left in a cold. You're confused as to why this person broke your heart if it's someone that you dealt with before. But I think before communication was a problem for you and this person. I think communication is what broke this relationship in the first place. Yep. Because you wanted commitment and long term and they didn't. You saw Ten of Pentacles with them and they saw the relationship just as something as passing. Could be a Virgo some of you are dealing with as well or this is you trying to find the answers, going within and searching for answers. Some of you could be having a spiritual awakening at this point in time. But you're keeping it to yourself. You're holding back from someone or something. Yeah. 
because you have finally had a realization. So that's why I said to you, some of you are definitely having a spiritual awakening. Now, something happened to shake you to your very core. Something made you question everything that you believed before. And there was some type of realization that surprised you about a connection or a person. So you're keeping it to yourself. You're keeping it under wraps because you're afraid to tell anyone because they might think you're crazy. I don't know who that is for. Yeah, could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer you're connecting to, but you're afraid to offer your love to someone. Because when this relationship started, it started out about sex. It started out about in and out, about hooking up, friends with benefits. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag you're dealing with. And now you find yourself in love with this person, and you wonder if it's to tell them or not to tell them. Because you are afraid that they are going to leave, but you know they may be hooking up with somebody else or they may be in a committed relationship with someone else. So you falling in love with them was much as a surprise for you as it was for them. I don't even think you told them yet. Nope, you haven't. You have been withholding from them. You do want to tell them the truth. You do want to tell them how you feel, but you haven't done that as yet. But there is a cycle closing off and a new one beginning. Yeah, you want stability now. You want this relationship. You want long term with this person. But you are afraid as to what they're going to say. You feel that you are, they are going to end it with you. Yep. Yeah, you feel that this is going to be over once you tell them how you truly feel. But you're not giving up on this relationship. You're not giving up on this person. Or ending may have happened when you told this person how you truly feel. It betrayed your trust. It betrayed you. It broke your heart. But you're not willing to give up on this person yet. Yeah, and then definitely happened that caused you to have an epiphany of some sort. When the truth came out about exactly what it is this person really wanted from you. And now there is no communication, but you do want to communicate with them. But it's like they're not communicating with you. But I do see in the very near future that this person is going to reach out to you or you are going to reach out to them. Because they seem to be very unhappy without you. There is an energy of luck here. Like, you know, they want you to text, they want you to call, but it's like they don't want to reciprocate you at the same time. It's a very confusing energy. But they see you as their wish fulfillment. For some of you, it could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but they definitely see you as their wish fulfillment. They want to be fair to you. They want to have a balance in the relationship, and it is definitely coming. Because they see you to be this person that lives life once, one day at a time. You are spontaneous. You are very beautiful or handsome. And they enjoy your company and enjoy you. This is definitely coming back around with things moving in your favor. Wow. Mm. Someone wants a reconciliation here. Someone has had a spiritual awakening. Someone has had a realization. And they definitely want reconciliation. But they want to start afresh and see where it goes. They want to explore exactly how they feel for you. And try to figure out exactly how you feel for them. Because they do see you as their wish fulfillment. For the best advice for my Vogos in this connection. The best advice for my Vogos in this connection.
It was the vice in my vocals in this connection. Mm. So someone seems to be hiding the fact that they want a relationship with you. It could be you or it could be the person you're dealing with, but somebody is being sly about something. Somebody is being deceitful. Somebody is hiding something. But to, to want a relationship with you, they definitely do. Yep. <laughs> Someone wants commitment here. Someone wants long term. Someone wants a forever person. They want it too. They want to be in a relationship with you. But they are scared of how they feel. It could be them, it could be you, but somebody needs to stop lying to themselves, stop deceiving themselves. Because communication for you and this person is definitely on the horizon where things will be healed and restored in this relationship. But you need to state clearly what it is you expect from this relationship. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.